uh, when we go to the uh, when we do a radiograph for the upper canine the canine actually has a special uh, because of uh, has a special position and consideration wh while you're doing a radiograph for the upper uh, canine uh, if we we're still using this uh, uh, direct sensor. Uh, the canine, because it is located at the angle of the mandible, so of course it should be taken def uh, 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 on its own. You, you cannot take a radiograph like if you include it for the, with the central incisors or the lateral incisors or the premolars. It should be there because you have to consider this angle. Uh, thus, you're going to put the uh, sensor exactly behind the canine. Uh, you slide the uh, sensor all the way backwards as much as you can in order to include the canine uh, uh, in, the, in the radiograph. If, if you fail to do so, and that is when you're going to... Uh, place the sensor in this way, definitely you will, you will miss the uh, route. So, you push as much as you can backwards, okay, and preferably you use the cutter roll. So, you put it in this way, okay, see how it helps? to uh, uh, slide the uh, sensor backwards and at the same time your reamer is extending from the uh, from the uh, from the access opening and doesn't interfere with the with the cutter roll and if still the canine is more uh, um, the root I mean is very long what you can do here is there is kind of a maneuver you will do and instead of placing the film exactly behind the canine you will use the long axis uh, uh, or the longest axis of the uh, of the uh, sensor to utilize its maximum length what does this mean and it's me it means instead of placing the sensor uh, just exactly behind the canine you place the sensor this way so that the canine will be at this uh, 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 b b uh, dimension of the sensor. So let us go back again. See, you go back, 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 and then you rotate. See what happens now. You will give a chance for the sensor, or you will utilize the ha the widest or the longest dimension of the sensor so that it will capture the canine. Let me do it again. You place the uh, you place your cutter roll, okay, and then you tilt the sensor so that it will be uh, the longest uh, <coughs> dimension of the sensor will be located behind the canine and this is how it looks from the from the back see by so doing you have utilized your length, longest length or the longest dimension of the of the sensor uh, this is a, a maneuver let me do it on here without the uh, without the clamp see you just tilt it this way, either way, this way or this way, so that the longest, the canine, instead of being here, it will be placed this way, so that it will uh, include the full length of the crown. This is a special technique that you would use for the, uh, for the canine itself. So, the cutter roll, I, again, I advocate its use, whether on the central incisors or the canine, or any other area of the mouth. Why? because it reduces the irritation, it uh, uh, adds to the support uh, and prevents slippage of the, uh, um, of the sensor against the uh, uh, fluids, uh, especially if this is covered by the, by the protective barrier, and plus this is that it reduces the angle. Instead of being so steep, okay, uh, when you place a cutter roll, you are going to reduce it so that you will uh, compensate by the by the movement uh, <coughs> according uh, uh, to the uh, angle which is formed between the tooth and the uh, 
a sensor. So if we're doing like for the canine, you uh, just like we agreed earlier, you place it perpendicular on the tooth, then you place it perpendicular on the uh, on the uh, on the sensor. Okay, this is if you're not using the, uh, and then you, you uh, keep it midway, uh, at an angle of around 45 to 50, <clears throat> uh, positive angulation. While if you are using the cutter roll, instead of over or increasing the um, uh, cone to be ver uh, perpendicular on the film, you're going to reduce this. Tooth, film. With the cutter roll placement, it will be more, it will be, uh, you know, taken away from the, uh, from the uh, tooth, one. And second, it will, instead of being so steep, it will be more, uh, more or less parallel to the tooth so that you will uh, follow the direction <coughs> accordingly.